All right, hello everybody, hello YouTube, uh, a pleasure. This is actually my second time recording this because I made an oopsie apparently and for some reason my microphones did not record. So huh? either it's human nature, uh, as in human error, or something happened, either way, it doesn't matter. We are here at it again. Essentially, we have the official patch note. I was waiting for this to go live so I could talk about it rather than just do bits and pieces and do like 10 videos and then get to it. So I'm gonna quickly go over everything here um, and uh, make sure that I get you all the juicy, juicy information that you require. So we're gonna start by here because this is essentially um, a very, this is an overview, right? And that's the good part. Seeing the text that like defines in very small details what is going on is uh, might take longer, but we'll refer back to it if necessary. So first and foremost, you can see here that we are getting this patch in a few hours. The 17th is going to be happening very soon. Uh, it's UTC minus seven, so it's going to be pretty soon. Essentially tomorrow, we will have this update. First and foremost, Ulrich von Hutten, as well as Magdeburg, Elbe, and Prince Adelberg will be added to, con to, to the construction pool, which means all those characters will be pullable just from standard constructions, which means that uh, you can get them in their respective category, right? So we have those category right there, uh, for example, uh, if I do, there we go. Magdeburg is gonna be available in the light construction pool. Ulrich von Utten and Prince Adalbert will be available in the heavy construction pool. And finally, Ulrich von Hutten and Elbe will both be available in the special construction pool. Um, so this means that Ulrich von Hutten is officially the fourth UR character that has been added to the construction pool, to the standard pool, which means that you will also be able to obtain her via the UR exchange system. So for those who don't know, once you've pulled 400 times, you have... Um, a ticket that you can use to immediately and freely redeem any UR character that is available in the base pool. Um, the first three have been Shinano, Shimakaze, as well as New Jersey, and now Ulrich von Hutten is gonna join those three. So this is absolutely amazing. If you never got a chance to get her before, this is your chance, either from the standard banner by just crafting or by using set tickets eventually. So this is fantastic news. She is still a very, very strong ship. So that's a great opportunity. Now, additionally, we have some permanent skin being added. This is the whole um, made uh, skin theme for set characters, for, you know, Iron Blood characters, which mean we are going to be able to just buy them from the shop at any time. On top of it, the port cafe uh, theme furniture is also going to be available forever at this point. And there's some very good stuff here. You have some nice bookcases, some like cat trees and stuff like that. So this is really nice. I'll probably get a few furniture from there. Additionally, we'll also have an outfit selection pack. This is for Ulrich von Hutten. So essentially, I think you can choose any of her skins. And on top of that, you also get like 30,000 coins. Um, you get like 30 cubes and stuff. You you get like essentially like 15 free pools. I think everything is written here. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's right there. It doesn't say exactly what's in here. That's unfortunate. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you specifically so we can have all the information. Uh, there it is. The pack contains one selection skin voucher for Ulrich von Hutten. 40 wisdom cubes, 30,000 coins, and 50 T2 XP data pack. So this is essentially, you get your Ulrich, you get this, you can choose whichever skin, you can get a lot of pools, a lot of XP material, this is awesome. Uh, now when it comes to price, I'm gonna assume this is gonna be around the 20 bucks, kinda. That's what I'm gonna assume. I don't think it was written here, unfortunately. So we don't have the price yet. Uh, but hopefully, it's not going to be too expensive. Uh, one girl can hope. Now, moving on, we also have a rerun event construction. So, the Quillifer's Ballad is getting a rerun, and this is a Sardena event, right? And during this event, we'll be able to have a special banner where we can get Alfredo Oriani, Giuseppe Garibaldi, Roma, 
Leonardo da Vinci, and Bolzano. So those five characters will be available um, for a limited duration, and you can get them. Now, on top of that, during the events, uh, by just sorting and doing some missions, you will accumulate some points. Just by accumulating points, you will eventually get a free character, which, if I am not too speed, is going to be uh, Emmanuel Pesagno. So Emmanuel Pesagno is actually Emmanuel Sagno. There it is. I do want to show you to her. Show her to you. Sorry. Uh, she is an elite destroyer, and the design is pretty cool. Uh, I like the pink hair. I like the ribbon. I like the fluttery dress and the big cannon. It's pretty cool overall. I appreciate the design. Now she's going to be an elite unit. I'm not sure how good she's going to be, um, but it is there. So you know. It, it, it's a good pickup if you want. It's for free. It's nice for, you know, collection purposes and all of that. And on top of it, um, there will be obviously an event shop. And from said event shop, you will be, with your points, able to purchase Giuseppe Garibaldi, which is the super rare unit uh, right there on the left of Roma, which is always nice, you know. So, yay! Um, I'm gonna assume also that this might be the character that can just, um, she's not rates up on the banner, so you will be most likely able to farm for her on the map. Now, um, on top of that, I don't think it's shown here, but we are also getting a rerun, I believe, of, uh, where is it? Oh, it's a new event. We're getting the... Available for limited time between 1017th and 1023rd. Shipbuilding support plan, Sardena Empire. You can log in to get some build tickets and event PTs. Uh, okay, so it's part of the rest. But I think there was another one that will allow you in the... Yeah, there it is. The Splendorous Invitation Reroll. I'm sorry, I'm blind. Complete all event missions to obtain the limited gear, World Expo Invitation. Uh, so this item is an auxiliary gear. That essentially gives you a good amount of buff to like firepower, evasion, um, and uh, anti-air or whatnot. And if you have it equipped on someone that's not Sardinia Empire and you do have another character in the team, a specific character, I don't remember who, but you, it has some amount of versatility, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, there it is. It, it's nice to have a free, um, unique um, auxiliary equipment. That's always cool, so we like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so moving on from there, there's also going to be some rerun for skin. And it is over here and over there. So those are rerun skin for the Sardinia ships, obviously. And we have also some other rerun skin down there. Uh, we can also see Leonardo da Vinci here and a bunch of other characters. And those are from the theme of like the ballet dance kind of um, kind of sets. So that's pretty cool, and we're also getting a rerun furniture for the ballroom, the Manju ballroom. So yeah, that's pretty much all that we're going to be getting, which is very, very cool. I'm very excited. Now, moving on, obviously, uh, there are some more minute details. We're getting some more, um, you know, limited purchases available in the shop that you can get. Uh, U1206 is going to be eventually permanently in the marriage shop. Um, it's going to be some rerun for Gearbox of the stage dance. A bit of uh, optimization. And, additionally, of course, as always, we are getting some maintenance compensation of 2,500 coins and 300 oils, which is very nice. Don't forget to uh, give some snack to your ship girls in their dormitory before the maintenance begins. Now, a final little thing I do want to touch upon is a few tweets from two days ago that they dropped, and it is right here. Uh, the tentacle... The tentacle... Tempesta has returned, as well as, I want to take you into the abyss. Heed their call, Commander. Come. Tempesta call. There it is. So for those who don't know, Tempesta is a essentially a rogue nation in Azure Lane. Um, and it is sailing ship. It's like pirate ship, right? So the Tempesta is a pirate faction, uh, a pirate nation. And it has some very specific characters. A lot of people are very, very fan of Golden Hind. Uh, and they mostly all have um, tentacle-based uh, design, as you can see. Which means a lot of people like them for... Reasons. <laughs> Let's 
be real. And they have very cool design. I mean, look at this lady. Sheesh! Uh... Of course, a lot of them are only limited. The only exception, I believe, or like one of the exception is Royal Fortune, right there. She's looking great. She looks like a crazy misfortune from League of Legends. Uh, this one is actually available in the Core Data Shop, um, but the others are not. Now, limited, this one is the only one with no tentacle, but she does have wings with eyes in them, which is like kind of like the biblical representation of angel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so more Heldritch Horror. Uh, we have even this girl here, and even Waida. Waida uh, got a secret not super long ago. So, um, yeah, th this is the opportunity for you to, to get her if you haven't. But the question I have, is this going to be a rerun? Are we going to get some new units? I would love to actually get new Tempesta units. That would be fantastic. Also, it's probably a chance to get some very specific Meow Officers. There's like Drake and Kid that are very specific pirate Meow Officers. They have set skills. Um, and yeah, they're not going to be the strongest, they're going to be better, but because they're guaranteed essentially, it can be a good addition to your team until you get a very busted Meow Officer in the future. So there we go, look forward to it, uh, spend your pools and your cubes and your coin uh, reasonably, uh, because after this rerun, we will most likely be getting a Tempesta event. Um, in the upcoming month. So there it is. That's all I had to say about this. I hope this was useful. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if you're excited about this patch. Uh, like, subscribe, all the good good, and catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash kittykazi. Bye!